Hi guys, welcome to Types of Selection. So uh, we will be looking at the directional and natural selection and we also will be looking at the data in terms of the selection and have a look how you can then analyze that data. So uh, there are a few definitions that you need to be aware of before we start uh, looking at the selection. So one of those is a population. It's a group of organisms of the same species that occupies a, per a specific space at a specific time and then uh, can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. Gene pool, all of the alias of all of the genes of all of the indiv individuals in the populations at the given time. And evolution, it's a change in the heritable characteristics of biological populations of a successive generations and it's to raise the biodiversity and the factors here that will be affecting evolution it's a number of the offspring it's the genetic variation in the populations of all species and it's a variety of phenotypes that selection operates against so natural selection and genetic diversity then genetic diversity is the factor enabling natural selection to occur so natural selection is the process by which organisms are better adapt to their environmental survival. They interbreed and produce fertile offspring, while those less well adapt will fail to do so. So natural selection will result in species that are better adapt to the environment, and those adaptations could be uh, at the anatomical level, physiological level, or behavior. So. The principles of natural selections in the evolution of populations need to be in place. So it has to be a random mutation which can result in new allele of a gene. Any, uh, many mutations are harmful, but in certain environments, the new allele of a gene might be benefit. So uh, it could lead to increase uh, the chance of the reproduction. The advantages uh, of the alias being selected is the fact that they will be inherited by members of the next generation. And as a result, over many generations, the new allele will increase in the frequency in the population. So what is then? Uh, what are the types of the selection? We've got two of those. So directional and stabilizing, and that depends on the um, fact which of the characteristics will be selected. So two types of the selection, directional selection and stabilizing selection. So directional selection will uh, select the uh, one of the extreme uh, um, characteristics. So as you can see, here, the blue one is the uh, population at the beginning. And once they breed, okay, they keep selecting the one of the extreme characteristics. So at the end, there will be a change to the characteristics of the populations because the distribution curve remains the same shape as it was before. But now uh, the mean of this will shift to the left to the right or to the left okay so shape stays the same but they shift to one of the sides and the example of the directional selection is the antibiotic resistance in bacteria so stabilizing selection then so what they're going to select they're going to select the mean the mean of the populations okay so preserves the characteristics of the population and distribution curve becomes narrow and high, but the mean does not change. And for example, uh, it's the uh, human birth weights. So questions, okay, a really important fact here is uh, the fact about the antibiotics. So some antibiotics will uh, bind with specific receptors in the plasma membrane of bacteria, and the structure of the receptors uh, is determined genetically. So bacteria can become resistant to an antibiotic because a gene mutation results in a, an altered receptor. So explain how resistance to the, uh, an antibiotic could become widespread in the bacterial population following a mutation. So 
uh, key things here we need to be looking at uh, frequent use of antibiotic creates selection pressure so antibiotic will kill bacteria bacteria with mutations then uh, will have that advantage so they will survive and reproduce more than the other type of the bacteria once they reproduce they will pass on the advantage allele mutated allele in higher numbers so the frequency of this advantage allele will increase in uh, generations so the frequency of resistant type uh, of uh, bacteria will then increase so that's your model answer for that topic okay we've got another question quite similar so describe how a population of this bacteria can become resistant to the antibiotics okay so mutation okay will result in a heterozygous um, uh, not sorry not the heterozygous in the uh, result in the bacteria cell with allele for the resistance to one antibiotic and this cell will survive and pass on the allies for the resistance to the offspring to the next generations so the process will be then repeated uh, with different genes uh, and the information about this resistance okay will be passed uh, to each of the order right so one more here so just to hypothesis that scientists were testing in this investigation so you can pause the video now read through the whole question right ready okay so type of fat affects antibiotic resistant bacteria resistant uh, infect or uh, pass on uh, to animals and infected of uh, uh, incidence of antibiotic resistant differs in chickens and turkeys and uh, incidence of antibiotic resistant uh, differs in chicken farmers and turkey farmers okay so another thing another keywords okay make sure you are aware of those right so that's everything for this topic see you later